this is the SSL Family Dad with Simple Suburban Living. And today I'm going to do something a little bit different and just show you how to make a small universal clamp for your smartphone so that you can mount, mount your smartphone to the top of a tripod. And as you can see here, I've got my Samsung Galaxy Note camera uh, or phone mounted in the little, the little clamps here. And uh, what this allows you to do is just put this on, mount it on top of a tripod so that you can use your phone to take uh, you know, videos or pictures or anything like that and have a real good quality video. The reason I'm doing this in my case, I have a real nice DSLR camera that we're taking the video through right now. Uh, it has very good video quality on it, but the things it doesn't have is it does not have an external microphone option, and it also does not have an autofocus where it will track movement um, closer and further away from the lens. So it's really only good for setting up and doing still uh, sh shots that are going to be in a small confined area. I'd like to try experimenting using my smartphone a little bit more since it does do autofocus and has very good high definition uh, quality video. It also allows me to use different microphones and Bluetooth microphones and other types of things like that that I can use to hopefully improve the audio quality as well. Of course I can go out and get a new camera, which is something I probably will do that's uh, designed more for video, but I thought this would be a good kind of free solution that I could use to uh, make some better quality videos for the YouTube channel and for home movies as well. Um, the little clamp system that I'm designing here is kind of universal. It would fit on just about any smartphone, uh, the new iPhones, uh, the new iPhone Plus, the iPhone 6 Pluses, uh, smaller phones, bigger phones, doesn't really matter. It is adjustable in height um, and the arms are decent width apart where it would clamp just about any, any phone. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the process that I use to kind of put this together. It is kind of a crude design and I may end up, if it works out well, I may end up kind of refining it and making something a little prettier, but uh, it's been working very well so far. So I'll show you how I made it.
can see I've got the uh, phone clamped into the little new clamp system here and it's working out really well. It's nice and secure in there. It's not going to move anywhere and I can still reach in and get to the touch screen. And basically all I have here is just this. This is a, something I have laying around. It's actually a, a bolt and uh, an adapter for a baby gate that uh, I'm not using anymore. So uh, that's why I'm using this funny looking thing here. But you could use a wing nut or anything like that on the bottom and a long bolt or a piece of threaded rod. Uh, but basically all you do is just slide the phone into the uh, little track here on the bottom and then the two arms at the top just slide the phone in there and then just tighten this down it just just spins and it kind of clamps and sandwiches the phone in there nice and securely um, i don't have the uh adapter on the on here right now because it's on the camera that we're videotaping with but the tripod adapter screws right into the wood right here it's just threaded right in the wood um, and that that mounts right there and then just this just clips right on top of the tripod like so and then you can go ahead and use it to take video so uh, we'll go ahead and close out the video here and show you what the video looks like with the phone. All right, so we've got the phone on the tripod and it's working really well. I couldn't be happier with the little clamp system. The phone slides right in there. Um, the tripod adapter screws right into the bottom, slap it right on top of the tripod, and so far it's working great. Video color, video quality is a little bit different than the DSLR that I'm using, um, but it still fits into my to the videos I think that, uh, that I do just fine. Um, it's great to be able to use the phone on the tripod in situations where you need to maybe bring something in closer to the camera and it'll automatically focus for you as well as you know moving things around and having motion in the shots. Um, obviously a good camcorder will do the same type of thing, uh, but uh, if you're in a pinch and you need to use the phone, having it being able to mount it to a tripod is uh, a great way to, to take care of that. Um, another thing that I like is I'll be able to use some type of uh, external or remote audio devices, so I'm going to give that a try as well uh, with my phone, and I think that'll improve some of the outdoor uh, audio quality as well when it gets windy and things like that. So. Um, just kind of a free way to uh, use your phone as a more professional type of uh, video camera. Um, obviously, there's nothing that will beat a DSLR or a real good high definition uh, camcorder for your video, but the phones, you know, today's smartphones take really good video, high definition, and all that good stuff, so uh, usually you can get away with uh, using your phone in a lot of cases. So the clamping system that I designed here is just really simple. I'm using some scrap pieces of plywood and other things that I had laying around. You can really use a lot of different types of materials. Uh, hopefully the video gave you kind of a good walkthrough of how I put it all together. But if you have questions or comments or suggestions, please fill those down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. Um, I would love to answer any questions that you might have about measurements or different things that if I left something out of the video, please let me know. Uh, please hit thumbs up if you found the video informational or entertaining at all. Um, hopefully it helps you build something similar or uh, gave some entertainment value of some sort. Uh, so please hit thumbs up. I always appreciate that. And subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you follow along. Uh, we always do different kinds of DIY projects and home improvement projects around the house here in, the, in our little suburban homestead. We've got a lot of sustainability projects and um, aquaponics that we do in the basement, indoor gardening. Uh, we also do outdoor gardening and square foot gardening and all kinds of things like that when spring comes around. So we'd love to have you follow along and uh, check those types of things out. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Have a good one.